Hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to the fourth installment of the mini series called Crafting at the Lake House. In case we haven't met before, my name is Suzanne Nets and I blog at sunstampin.com. I'm a Western Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I conduct most of my Stampin' Up! business online, except for these lake house events that I facilitate three times a year with my friend Terry Hamilton, the car designs in this mini series are of the 12 make and takes that our attendees participated in. I hope you have fun watching the how to videos and get inspired to create your own works of art. Of course, all the products used in the demonstrations today are linked below in the description box for easy access to the online store. For today's card design, we are featuring the stamp set called Happiness Abounds. It's an absolutely gorgeous floral stamp, but the best thing about it is it has this scripty font and the font is, I don't know if you're a font person, I am, and that's what really drew me to this stamp set. So I'm inking up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on this piece of basic white card. I'm going to make sure that it's straight because it could go on uneven. So I'm putting this about a half an inch from the bottom and then I'm going to go in and ink up the largest floral stamp in the set with uh, and again memento tuxedo black ink because that ink does not react with alcohol markers you can set it off to dry for 30 seconds and you could go right in with your uh, blends marker and have no problem to no smearing no smudging no running no nothing i'm gonna stamp uh two of the leaves or the duo of leaves twice on the card and I'm starting off use, putting the dark down first so this is soft sea foam blends I put the dark down uh, and then I went over it with the light and then I'm going in dark again so these are very very pale blends markers so usually when I have a pale marker like this I want to make the darkest stay the darkest so I don't actually go in with the light first. These blends markers are very simple to use. They have a light and a dark. There's no mid-tone, nothing. So you don't have to think about it. Basically your dark is more of a shadow and your light is more of a highlight. So if you want to go over the image as like I'm doing here, I everything that I want um, deeper and darker and looks like it, you know, to have it pop off the page a little bit more, I'm gonna have the darker going in. And then if I, you know, if I need to blend out a little bit, I'll use the light. So uh, I used So Saffron Blends for the backside of these petals that are turned up. So it gave a very unique color way for this flower. All right, now I'm going to uh, put adhesive along the back here, and I'm going to attach this basic white card to the soft sea foam card. I'm also going to tie a little bow around, or sorry, a knot around this card. We're just gonna use a square knot. And I always have to do it the way I learned in brownies. So right over left and under, and then pull it taut, and then left over right and under or sorry, right over left and under. <laughs> and that gives you a nice box, box knot. And then I'm going in with my ribbon scissors and I will trim off that um, square knot. And we will attach this whole kit and caboodle to this petal pink. And I believe this is a die cut. I'm not 100% sure. I will leave it in uh, the link below. Uh, if you're on my blog, it'll be in the supplies section or if it'll be in the 
description box if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, I'm just not familiar with this die and I don't remember what it's called and I'm not as organized as I thought I was to give you the um, name of it. So these are the Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels and you'll find them on page 142 of your annual catalog. And I'm gonna put this all up on, um, oh, I put the soft seafoam, I attached that with dimensionals. And now this is going directly on a basic white thick card base in a cattywampus fashion. So that is the card for today. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.